Hi, I'm Myra Kornfeld. I'm a cookbook author and cooking instructor, and I have lots of tips and recipes to make your cooking life a whole lot easier. Today, I'm going to make salmon burgers featuring the wild red Pacific sockeye salmon from Vital Choice. Now, I love making salmon burgers from their other salmon, such as a wild sockeye, but this is just a different way to make a salmon burger, and nothing beats the convenience because you probably just have this in your pantry and it requires minimal prep. So start with the whole can and make sure to drain it of the liquid. Now what I love about this salmon is it's got the skin and the bones in there, so it, it gives a lot of extra calcium in a, really, in a form that's really easy to assimilate. Now I'm also adding a quarter cup of chopped herbs, and the herbs that I happen to have around today included dill and parsley and chives and tarragon, so it's going to be really delicious, but use whatever you have. I'm adding a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now I'm also going to make a gluten-free version in a minute, but these breadcrumbs I just keep in the freezer so they're ready to go anytime. And I'm adding an egg to bind everything up as well as a good sprinkling of freshly ground pepper. I don't need to add any salt to this version, it's just perfectly salted from the, from the salmon and I'm mixing this all together. In the gluten-free version, I have the salmon, the herbs, the egg, but instead of the breadcrumbs, I have a half a cup of mashed sweet potato, and I'm adding a little salt for that reason. The mashed sweet potato I make just by taking, peeling some sweet potato, slicing it up, adding a little water, and cooking it until it's tender, and then draining the water and mashing it. It takes about five minutes. I keep some in the refrigerator. It keeps for three or four days after you mash it. So I, I started by heating my cast iron skillet and I'm putting a thin film of oil. I'm using aroma-free coconut oil because it takes high heat cooking very well. And I'm putting in a burger here. I'm forming it a little bit with my hands first and then just dropping it in. And I'm gonna cook until it starts to get a little golden underneath. And I'm lowering my heat a little bit once they get in the pan. So that one can made six. This is perfect for two people and they cooked for about two minutes. I flipped these two guys and I'm continuing with the rest of them. And I flatten them out a little after I flip them. So I'm going to cook them another couple of minutes and they'll be ready to eat. So these are ready to eat. I'm making the sweet potato version here and the difference on these is that you don't preform them because they're a lot wetter. So, so you just spoon them in. Otherwise making them is the same. And you, you turn them really when you see some golden coming around the edge. So I, I put them in with a spoon and then I flatten them out. Now on these it's very important not to crowd the pan because they're a little, bit, a little bit looser like a pancake and you're looking to see that there's some golden going around the edge before you take your spatula and flip them in one good swoop. A little bit more delicate than the breadcrumbs one but still very delicious and easy to make. This is such a convenient way to get a quick and nutritious meal. So delicious too.